AP calculus AB, second derivative of a trigon tri trigonometric function. Wow, it was awful. So here we go. Given that f of x is equal to x cosine x, find, the, uh, find f double prime at x, otherwise known as the second derivative. Well, to find the second derivative, first thing I would do is find the first derivative. Um, and we have these two functions that are being multiplied, so I think I'm going to use the power rule here. So, I'm sorry, I'm going to use the product rule here. So I'm going to start my list here where f of x is equal to x. f prime at x, right? f prime of this thing is equal to 1. g of x is equal to cosine x, isn't it? And the first derivative of cosine x is equal to what? Opposite sine x, right? So we have opposite sine x here, sorry. Opposite sine x here, don't we? So I'm just going to set this up. I have x, which is f of x, times f prime at, g prime at x, which is sine, opposite sine x, plus g of x, which is cosine x, times f prime at x, which is times 1. I'll just show it to you anyway. Remember, we can't multiply this x times this one because this is a trigonometric argument here, and this is x, but this is negative 1, so x times negative 1 is negative x sine x, okay? And, of course, cosine x times 1 is cosine x, cosine x here. And we have successfully found the first derivative here. Now, if you're going to take the first derivative, once you've taken the first derivative, what you kind of do is act like it's the primary function now, and you're going to take its derivative. So that's what we're going to start to do now is take this derivative here. So what I'm going to do is set this up as two problems, if you don't mind. First problem, I'm going to set it up as this one right here. So I'm going to take the derivative of that. So f of x is equal to negative x, right? f prime at x, of course, is equal to negative 1. g of x is equal to our sine x, isn't it? Sine x. And we know that the first derivative of sine x is equal to cosine x, isn't it? I'm going to fill in the blanks here. I'm going to get negative x times cosine x plus sine x times negative 1. And that, you guys, is the, deri is the derivative of this. So what I've successfully done so far is taken the derivative of this, these two pieces, are the derivative of this, okay? But what I haven't done is, I haven't taken the derivative of this, and that's all I have to add here. So by taking the derivative of this, this plus sine is this one, and what is the first derivative of cosine x? Well, it's negative, it's opposite sine x, isn't it? So positive negative is negative. So far, so good. And I think what I'm going to do is this, uh, let me just do a little multiplication, ne it's negative x, cosine x minus sine x. Um, I don't know. I, I'd like to stop here on this problem, but I don't know if it... Well, you know what? It's really weird because they do let you, but a lot of people would have asked you to do this, which was just to factor out negative 1, and you get x cosine x plus sine x. Either way, I guess we're going to go with this. And this is, remember, f double prime of x. How do I know it's f double prime? Because well, we took the derivative of this thing, and the first derivative of this thing was that, and then we took the derivative of the the derivative of the first derivative, which is the second derivative. Okay, all right, you guys, good work. Make sure you're studying, and make sure you guys you're memorizing all of those um, rules, the trigonometric rules for all functions. Um, once you memorize them and start using them, they'll stick. But you've got to memorize them. A lot of you are putting them on um, on your iPhones as flash as flashcards. That's terrific. I don't even think you need that app to do it. Just take the damn picture. Also, you should be remembering. You should definitely have your sum and difference rule, product rule, quotient rule, all perfectly memorized. Inverse trig function rules. Um, what else before we go? Uh, your your exponential rules and your logarithmic rules. Once, once we start using them a lot, you'll get them memorized, but you got to be in the process of getting them memorized. Okay, you guys, good work. Vaya con Dios. Go with God.